Okay, so let's dive in. The Freedom Bundle. When I saw this collection come back in stock, I'm not joking you guys when I say that I literally canceled. Um, I had a coaching call that day with a sweet friend and I'm like, I can't, I'm so sorry. I have to tell the entire world that this collection is back and I don't have time to help you right now. That's super mean, I know, but that's just how it was. Like I have, when I say I have prayed for this collection to come back, I'm not even joking. Like this is how, this is how amazing this collection is. So kudos to you guys for getting it. And if you didn't get this, don't worry. I'm going to share with you the 16 plus oils that I gathered over the years. Um, but this collection is just like a beautifully packaged little bundle of, of release and of freedom. And it, it quite frankly saved my life and saved my family's life. And so I really think that, um, people just need this. Um, side note about prayer. I also prayed for in and out and Trader Joe's to come to Texas and all of you who are in Texas, you're welcome because I literally prayed for that. And now you have traders. And if you don't like traders, then you're having fun. Wrong. So there's that. So all that to say is God cares about the things that you care about. So get to praying if you need something. Now then, um, many of you watch, probably all of you watched the video I did last week about this collection. And, you know, I touched on it. I walked through the protocol that it comes with because when you're talking to maybe 2000 people, right? That's how many friends. And then I saw the video got like, I don't know, 3000, 4,000 views. I'm like, what in the world? That just tells me people need some freedom. Guys, if you just look, I'll just be preachy for just a moment. If you are not sharing Young Living, you are having fun wrong. Like I keep saying that. No, you're not having fun wrong. You're, um, you're not loving your fellow man, right? Jesus said, love God, love your neighbor. The way you love your neighbor is you give them some oils and help them get free, right? Can you guys feel me on that? Um, if thousands of people watch my silly video on how to use this, guys, they need this. So I did this video, I shared about it, and then I'm realizing, in fact, Laura, I was just messaging her. I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I realized this protocol that it comes with is basic. It's so basic. I hope you guys are taking notes and write that down. This is just basic. Young Living is launching this to thousands and millions of people. So of course, they're going to give you Hey, apply one to three drops on the bottom of your foot. Number two, aroma sleep. Apply one to three drops on the back of the neck. That's so basic. They're not going to say, hey, if you had sexual trauma, you know where you should put TR care is over your pubic bone so that you can get to the root area or over your solar plexus, right? Like they're just not going to dive into that, but I will. And this is what you guys need to know. I, you, all of your faces are so familiar. And so I'm thinking you've at least heard me talk about emotions. You've sat in my classes. Some of you guys are in Essentially Free. And for those of you who are in Essentially Free, can I just say thanks for spending an hour with me tonight? You guys are with me every day. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> They're like, I can't get enough of that. So this is basic. Please use this like... Um, I don't know, like you would like romaine lettuce salad, okay? Romaine is great. You add a little spinach to it, it's gonna give you some nourishment. But tonight, we're about to bust out a Greek salad, right? We're gonna tell you how to get more nutrients and how to get more nourishment for your soul from these oils like you've never thought of before. Um, I actually waited till tonight to open this. I don't know why I'm so nerdy like that. And I've saved, do y'all get the little Young Living stickers, right, for your oil bottles? Anybody else super nerdy like that, like me? I have, <laughs> this is how much I believe this kit was coming back. I have saved every one that I've had over the years, probably like eight of them, because they still had those stickers. I'm like, someday I'm just gonna sit there and sticker it. I just, that was just free. I, that's, I have, that was really useless information to you, but, I just had to share that. Um, okay, so let's dive in. I might jump around a bit, so forgive me. 
But what I want to dive into first is many of you guys watched the video with Master Sergeant uh, Jess, Jess Johnson. I don't want to get his name wrong, but right now my brain, I can't remember. I'm, I'm not remembering his name. Anyway, and he talks about how these oils helped. And you heard my story about my dad, he, who was also military. And we always think of first responders. And there were people um, commenting on my video. Oh, they're so great for first responders. And we think about these servicemen and women who have seen trauma. And we categorize trauma, don't we? We judge it. We, uh, you know, well, this is more traumatic. This over here is not as traumatic. And we judge it on other people. And we judge it on ourselves. And what I need to tell you guys, and I think most of you who have sat with me at least once in my classes, so you, you're on, on the same page. But most people, particularly women, have some form of PTSD. Right? Anything that happens in your life that is extremely difficult can result in post-traumatic stress disorder. And all that means, the Gen Weir simplified version of it is this. You've had a trauma in your life and now your brain and your body are not responding in a normal, typical way that most people would in other situations. For example, if you were assaulted, right, you may have a very unreason unreasonable, Please hear my words. Unreasonable for the average person response when being at the market, having someone follow you who's maybe minding their business, but your brain is going to start getting fearful. If you're like me, see, for me, the PTSD was like from when I was young, things happen. Uh, and then as I got older, having had my child have cancer, that phone call of Mrs. Weir, your son has malignant melanoma. Yeah, he's nine years old. Yeah, his life's gonna be a living hell and so is yours for the next year. That creates trauma. Moms who are told their children have severe autism and they're never going to speak and they're going to need to live with you until you die, that's trauma. And what I hope that you gain from this is just at the very minimum, don't judge anybody else's trauma, right? We love to do that. We love to do that on social media. But most of all, don't judge your own. Please recognize it. One in three women are sexually assaulted in our nation. That's how many report it, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening and you're a guy. One in three people, 30% of our population. I would just say to you, they have trauma. My dad, who you guys know if you watch the video, was in every conflict from Vietnam to Desert Storm, things we know about, things we don't know about, all this crazy stuff. And he said to me, well, you know what it's like. And I'm like, um, what what's like? And he you know, proceeded to say, well, you've got PTSD. He told me that. He's like, you've had it way worse. I'm like, um, dad, you see dead people driving in the car with you. Like he would see people that he either killed or he, who died in his arms, right? In Vietnam and these other conflicts, they would ride with him to work in his truck. But he's telling me that. So as we talk about trauma, just think about in your own life. If you guys all grab this collection, there's some part of you that's like, oh, I need some serious freedom. The first part of trauma or emotional releasing is getting sleep. Gary Young was brilliant, guys. He created the freedom sleep knowing when the body is well rested, freedom can happen. When the body is not, that's where we keep having the bondage. You know, I love scripture. I, I talk about it all the time. And if you don't read the same Bible I do, then listen, I don't know what to tell you. But I just, the thing is, is that there's this whole thing about Sabbath rest, right? We, one day a week, we sleep, we rest, we just relax. And I love, my kids and I, we were reading it recently, and it was this. It was, because you were slaves in Egypt, like he gave that to the children of Israel, because at one point they were slaves, they were never allowed to rest. Rest is very important to our God. It's not because he's a big buzzkill and he doesn't want us to work. He wants us to have life. 
He wants us to be free. And so rest, sleep, is critical. If you have a job where you have nutty hours, like I'm looking at Allie, I know she's at work because I can see her scrubs, right? My sweet friend there has nutty hours and she will tell you it's hard. It's hard on the body because you don't get sleep. You don't get the proper sleep. And, I, and so I know that that will put your body in trauma. Yeah, Allie, would you agree? Not having proper sleep. So we start out with the freedom sleep. To Kimberly's question, you know, with her husband, it doesn't matter if he does it, you know, in the right way, in the right order. And no, absolutely not. Like I said in the very, very beginning, this kit, these instructions for the protocol, super basic, super basic. You will now, after tonight, guaranteed, will not use this again. You'll probably just put it in your sweater, be like, and we're done. Also, this protocol is straight up in the app. So you can just do that, like, seriously. If you're like me, like, like I need another piece of paper in my life. I mean, if you saw my desk, it's embarrassing. So we start off with freedom with both. Always freedom. I mean, how many of you guys, right, if you've been around Young Living for at least four and a half, five years, when freedom came out last year, you're like, yeah, it's the best oil ever. You guys, I ordered 12 of them. My people were like, what are you doing? I said, don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. And if you're not getting 12, then... Don't come crying to me when yours runs out. I needed one every month, right? Because I thought, okay, surely, surely they'll have it at convention or I can come back to the farm and get it. So we start off with freedom. And freedom is great. Where's my freedom? Hold on, let me just open these. How many of you guys like have the same bottle of oil, but you've got, or you got five of the same bottle of oil opened up throughout your house? That's, that's how my freedom is. So freedom, is an oil that opens up your mind to be able to do the things that would lead to being free. Hopefully, you guys are not new to emotions, so you're like, what? I know, it doesn't make any sense. Recently, I created a post, and I was telling people, you guys, go ahead and put some freedom on, man, while we're talking, this is good stuff. And I said, I'm so weary of hearing people say, oh, oils will heal you. No, come on, man. You guys know, like, for real, read the science. That's not true. Stop telling people lies. The oils write your brain so that your brain and your body can do the things that God designed it to do. That's how oils work. The FDA has sold us a lie saying you can't tell people that they heal. Well, good, because they don't anyway. It, they all work up here. They clean out the receptor sites. They write the brain. And so as we're using freedom, these will help your mind work through and be okay, right? Be at peace to work through past emotional traumas. They'll help you get to your highest potential. So, so see, I don't have emotional trauma anymore, and yet I ordered 12 bottles of freedom. Why? Because every day I love putting that sucker on my feet and say, I walk in freedom. I walk in freedom. How many of you guys do that? Show of hands. Awesome, Georgia. Yes, Terry. You walk in freedom. Put it on your feet. Put it on the crown of your head. On the base of your neck, I think about freedom. Freedom finds me. Guys, if you know the same God that I know, we're called, we are for, it's for freedom's sake that we have been set free. So using this oil with intention and purpose. So in here, you've got sacred frankincense. You've got Idaho blue spruce, vetiver, all good brain oils, lavender, I was just chatting with a woman today about lavender and how many of you know that lavender is the abandonment oil, right? If anyone has abandonment issues, y'all should be stocking up on lavender and putting that over your belly, over your small intestine, your stomach. That's where the abandonment that, that feels, right? Or that sits. And then it's got peppermint. Peppermint wakes up your senses. Peppermint's also in transformation, and I think there's a lot of it in there because I'll use it at night. I'm like, ooh, my, my neck is cold. It's got valerian that's going to help you feel peaceful. 
as you walk in freedom. When we look at the protocol, you know, we're so allopathic mindset, right? As a culture, we're like, just tell me how to do it. Tell me how many drops, how, many, how long is it going to last? We're looking for like, okay, is it going to last me four hours, six hours? You want the extra strength oil, right? I mean, listen, I was that way. My uh, upline is April porn to that poor woman. I messaged her like, what oils do I take internally? I remember her going, for what? I'm like, I don't know. What should I be doing every day? And she's probably like, oh, my land. And I, now I'm going, yeah, I know. So it's like, it's different, right? Everybody has a different need for oils. And so tonight, I'm not going to give you a one and done thing. What I will give you is this. As we walk through these, these kits, these collections and these oils, we have to understand trauma and emotions that are trapped in our body. We put on freedom, right? So now that you guys will be in tune to what I have to say and you'll be ready to receive what I have to say. But as we walk through this, we have to understand that emotions get trapped in our cells. They get encoded in our DNA. Friends, I'm gonna tell you this. Your parents' trapped emotions get encoded in your DNA. Because, um, it, and if you say to me, well, I was adopted, so that's not a thing, doesn't matter. Then your adoptive parents and your birth parents, now you have their DNA. Now you have that trauma. Now you have those mindsets. Number one, because whoever birthed you, you have that encoded. Number two, who adopted you, and if you have your natural parents, right? So you're born. And then for two years, your limbic system in your brain, we all know what that is, is not fully developed until you're at least two. So when children fall and they look, or there's a situation going on and they're looking to their parents to be like, am I okay? They're looking because they don't understand how to, they don't, they're just trying to make sense of the world. And so if you have a house, an environment, your family of origin is not emotionally sound, that's going to get encoded in your DNA. You may take on trapped emotions from your mom, your dad, even your, your family, right? You know, depending on um, your birth order, that has a lot to do with it. Maybe if you're the firstborn, you carry responsibility on your shoulders, just something that you do. I can go on and on about that. So when I look at inner harmony, the basic protocol, right? And it says, what did it say? Apply one to three drops on each wrist. Here's me. Because you have trauma trapped in your wrist? Like, is what? Basic, guys. Basic. Valor on your wrist? Absolutely. For sure. Because you sit there, and why? You guys, I hope you're doing this. When you put your valor on, you sit, or you stand. You should stand when you do it. And you just wait. And what you're waiting for is to feel your pulse in both your wrists that tells you that blood is flowing equally on both sides of the body. Now you're balanced. Obviously put valor over your shoulders, but if you wanna balance yourself and you wanna know how am I balancing, am I grounded today, we're gonna to do this. But putting inner harmony on your wrist, what? No. Like for real, even if you wanna do the basic, can we just like take a Sharpie through that and I know, please don't tell Young Living that I said that I might get, they might be like, Jen, where we don't like you. And, and that's okay. I have a lot of friends. But can we just like all agree to just not do that? I mean, you can, but again, like I told Kimberly, you're wasting your oil. And you're not getting the most out of it. You're just not. So harmony, where do we want harmony? Where do we put regular harmony, guys? Regular harmony, I'll call it. Now we have inner harmony, we have regular harmony. From the feelings collection, 12 drops around your belly, around your solar plexus. Why? Because this is the very center of your being. It's your very middle, middle self. This is your center of support. This is your strength. When I very first started working out years ago, my trainer was like, you have to work on your core. I'm like, okay. I was thinking, well, I birthed five children and I had this like gap muscle. Like, yeah, sure. Okay, I got it. Yeah, that needs to be strong. No. I mean, yes. No, but no. 
Like this, this is everything. This is everything, guys. Your belly, your belly button is where life started. Think about it. Simple anatomy will tell us how to use these. So right here in your belly, right? If you follow any kind of chakras, or you want to call them energy centers, if that makes you feel better and not so heebied out about it, whatever. This is where wisdom comes from. How many of you guys are intuitive? Like you're probably not going to raise your hand. You're like, I don't want these people to know I'm a big weirdo. It's okay. I got you. I'm a total weirdo too. Right? Where you're like, I just know things. My son tonight was like, mom, what's intuitive? I'm like, you know, you know things in advance. Like, you know, you're supposed to take out the grocery or the uh, trash without mom telling you, which is not really being intuitive. That's just doing your job. Right? But it's that inner knowing. You just know things. And in the West, we've overthought it and we're like, that's weird. I can't wait. No, but God, my word, you guys, he gave us that inner knowing. It's our personal power. It's where we feel strength. And it's our decisiveness, going back to that inner knowing, that just that gut feeling. Some of you guys are way too in your head. You're not making decisions right and you're not knowing things because you won't get here. You're too up here. So listen, everybody, grab your inner harmony. Let's do this now. I knew I was going to sleep tonight. I mean, if you want to do the one to two drops, whatever. I would, though, because, you know, it's out of stock. Take it, right? Activate your oil. Just breathe it in because, oh, my word, isn't that lovely? Come on, guys. Right? And then put it on your belly, over your belly button. So it's from your belly, like right at your belly button, just like your ribs, where your rib cage is. Breathe that in. What that is going to do is it's going to help strengthen that portion of your body. Also, it's going to bring harmony to your body so that you can have the courage and have the strength. Yes, Ali, I did say 12 drops to the, ori or, uh, the original, not for inner harmony, for the original. Lord have mercy, don't use 12 drops unless you were able to order five kits. Just saying. But it's going to give you the strength and the courage to be able to go and do the releasing that you need to do, to be able to face that stuff. I work with people all day long, every day on emotional releasing. And I can't tell you how many folks are like, I don't want to do this. This is too scary. I have one woman that I have been talking to who, for a year. She's never sat in any of my classes. She did when I was in Dallas. We talked a little bit online and I was trying to be gentle, but I'm like, girl, you need what I have to say. She's like, I'm just, uh, I, fear. Fear's a freaking liar, right guys? But now we have inner harmony. Put that over your belly. This, pretend, well not pretend, this is the equivalent of having a strengthened core, your energy center here is the equivalent of being like a warrior going into battle. Did you guys hear what I just said? It's like a warrior going into battle. If you have walked through trauma, you need the strength of a warrior to face it. It's a little pesky. And I'll tell you what, on this side of it, all these voices, all this fear, all this junk is so loud. And on this side of it, you're looking back like, what was I even worried about? Freedom feels so much better. So you've got your freedom on, you put your inner harmony on. Inner harmony can help you release past trauma. If anyone has ever suffered a miscarriage, a loss of a baby, putting inner harmony right over your belly where you would carry that baby will help release the trauma from that. If you guys know anyone who has walked that, just pass that information along. That's so valuable to them. Because losing a child, no matter how gestation, how much in gestation they were, is tough. 
Also, I'm going to get real personal and I'm going to get real political right about now. But if you know anyone who had an abortion, instead of picketing with your big old sign and your Facebook posts, could you just give them some inner harmony? Maybe a little valor and say, I love you and I'm praying for you and just move along your day. Because I got news for you. I know a lot of women who've made that choice. And on that side of it, it sucks. It's a trauma that follows them to their grave. I promise you. I can promise you that. All right, let's move on. So now let's talk about, wait, hold on. Yes, aroma sleep. So when I bought this collection and I'm thinking aroma sleep, I have a one and a half year old that that was not her favorite thing on account of she was in the NICU for 31 days and those nurses woke her to weigh that baby. And they were feeding her. I'm like, you know, she probably would have eaten. Like, do you want to eat at two in the morning? I don't know. But anyway, so she didn't sleep. So I'm looking at Aroma Sleep and I'm thinking this is going to be our miracle cure. Nothing was the miracle cure until she was four, four and a half. And I learned about affirmations and I had her put on cedar wood every night. And I said, Sayla, together. I'm safe and secure. Let's say it. And so she said it. That girl slept through the night from that moment on. It was a mindset thing. That's another story. But just as you know. But aroma sleep is help. It's, it's meant to give you that restful, deep sleep. Just that really good, not waking up, thinking about all the things. So you've got Roman chamomile in here, um, tangerine. Both of those are important for people who struggle with anxiety and stress. Also, bergamot um, is good to help with folks who have really intense anxiety and even a little bit of depression. I'm not sure if that's compliant to say, guys, so for reals, just be a pal and don't turn me in. But listen, I saw April Pointer's post on Essentially YL or whatever that group is. I'm like, she said trauma and anxiety a whole heck of a bunch of times. So I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'd rather ask for forgiveness, right? There's also valerian, which is just, everyone knows it's the sleep oil. It smells like cat pee, but it works wonders, right? And then there's um, rue. So side note, if you're weren't able to get this collection or you know someone who wanted it but weren't able to, then get them Rudavala. Get them Rudavala. Yes, Allie, it quiets your mind. It, all the oils in there are very quieting oils. So for aroma sleep, one to two drops right on the back of your neck. Here's me. Um, Except the gland that regulates our sleep is here. So I put it here, guys. That's just me. That's, what, that's just me. Um, Kimberly, that's a great question. Why does the protocol say to use aroma sleep in the morning? Seems like it would make you sleepy. You would think so. Um, and yeah, you would think, I'm like, okay, I'm trying to not step on toes, but yeah, that's kind of dumb because why would you, who, raise your hand if you would use valerian and rutavala or any of that in the morning. Like we wouldn't, right? Like number one, who wants to smell like cat pee throughout the day? Number two, why? You just, you don't want to be sleepy. And I know people say, well, the oils are smart and yada, yada, yada. But every oil, like I'm looking at the, there's no oil in there that is not meant to relax you. Except, now here's, here's, here's an exception, okay? If you have someone who is not functioning well, now remember, Gary Young, smart, very smart. And you guys know why he created these oils. It was for military veterans. He had them in mind. So if you know military veterans, and if they're always edgy and just super, super anxious all the time, Right, like I take my dad, for example, and he would like check the perimeter at two in the morning. That man did not get good sleep, but he was also really on edge, like could just bust a cap at any given moment. That kind of person, you would definitely use aroma sleep because they're just always like 
here all the time. But for the average person, see, this is why I wanted to do this class so that you guys can differentiate me, average mom with five people. I probably don't need to be any sleepier. Good grief. But if I'm like constantly here because my anxiety is so high, I'm just always tense. Maybe aroma sleep is good because it's just going to quiet my brain. That's all it's going to do. It's not necessarily going to knock me out if I'm riding really high. Also, when you think about Valor, right? We haven't even talked about Valor because how many of you guys don't know about Valor? Like if you need some information, just shout, you know, tell me. We'll talk about Valor. But Valor, the frequency is at 45 or 46. Anyway, it's lower than the human body if you know anything about frequencies. And I've had people in my group say, well, why is it so low? I thought you guys, you always talk about high vibes and high vibration oils and high frequency oils. Yes. But if you're anxious and you're stressed out and you're freaking out, your mental state, you're riding really high. And so valor is going to ground you and it's going to bring you down. Okay. Okay. So yes, Kimberly, if you're like me, you're like, I just need some freedom and some, then just put that, just put it on your nightstand. That's your oil for nighttime. And that oil, like I said, here, you might even rub that on the bottoms of your feet, your big toe. One of my favorite oils is Northern Lights Black Spruce. It's like, I don't know, the knock me out. It's like chloroform for me. I mean, I could put it on my toes and then just in seconds, I'm like, good night. I don't know why. It's just, that's just my oil. Um... I put it on both big toes. Uh, I just, they're both for your head, right? They're the pressure points for your head. So I do the grasshopper thing, right? I put on one and then I pick my feet up and rub them together. Anybody else do that? I know, right, Kathy, are you cracking up? Yeah, okay, good. I'm not alone here. My husband's like, what are you, what kind of move is that? Don't you worry about it. Got this. Okay. Allie, you said tell all the things. I'm going to need you to be more specific. So you, you want me to talk about, okay, I'll talk about Valor. So Valor gets into your bones. I have no scientific proof to back that up. I'm sorry. So if you're sciencey and you're like, I need you to tell me, I, I can't. Like, yeah. Cricket oil, that's funny. <laughs> yes, rub your feet together. That's right, Terry. But I know in my inner knowing, and I've heard the people with all the alphabet after their name say, it gets into your bones. The frequency of it, I should check this out, the frequency of your bones versus the frequency of valor, it can get in there. And if you're intuitive enough, if you keep using your oils here, look, if you struggle with being intuitive, get you some Envision. Put it here for like a month. Just try it. Into the future, something. But if you put valor on and you set it on your shoulders, and you do it on your wrists, you will feel the strength radiating from, from your shoulders down to your toes, from your wrists out into your bones. Valor and anxiety, and think about it. Ali put that, and here's me. If you need, if you've got some anxiety creeping in for whatever reason, let's say you wanna go skydiving. Okay, we'll use that kind of anxiety so nobody gets upset that I'm saying that word anxiety. You're gonna go skydiving and you're so freaked out. Valor has, the oils in Valor and the constituents and the way that they're paired together gives you that strength right here in your belly. It balances you, it grounds you. You put it down your spine, it's gonna give you a spine of steel. Guys, in scripture, they would oil their shields as a sign of God's protection when they went into battle. And Gary created valor because the Roman soldiers, like they would take a bath in those oils, right? They'd sink down at what, like sundown when they're doing this in the light. Like it was very specific, very specific. So he created valor to keep us strong. Actually, he created it for himself, which I love that. It was like, whatever. He needed it for some, something he was doing. I just think that's brilliant. 
Right, Kimberly, it's amazing for children. Absolutely, thank you for sharing that. My daughter does speeches and debates and she's so funny. Like I talk with my hands so she comes by it honestly. She can't help it. But sometimes when she gets nervous, she just talks a lot like, like this, like she's waving, you know, like an airplane coming in, that type of thing. And she talks real fast. I'm like, honey, what's the deal? She's like, I'm just so nervous when, you know, like she's fine at home, but with everybody, I said, just use your valor. So what she did was, is use her valor as she was practicing her speeches at home. And she went and gave her talk and she smelled valor again. That memory recall reminded her, you're totally fine. You got this. And it gave her the strength and the courage. All right. So in the next collection, you've got freedom, joy, transformation, divine release, and then TR care. These are awesome, guys. Can I just tell you? I mean, transformation, thank you, Jesus, we can get these. And of course, joy, right? Let's talk about transformation real quick. This is apparently your third oil you apply. This is for the, so, okay, in case you're wondering, one to 30 days for the first collection. The second one is 31 to 60. I see no harm in doing that. In fact, I would say if you don't, if, if you don't set one aside, you're not gonna know what's going on, right? So just do one. Just do one. Don't be so zealous and like, I got to do all the things. I'm going to get free. I mean, because that's totally something I would do, which is not okay. It was really hard for me to, when I first did this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that tear care. I can't wait 31 days. But you can. You won't die, I promise. Um, so you do your freedom again and you do joy. So joy is the good day protocol, the great day protocol, right? We put it over our hearts. Ladies, I love sharing this tip. If there's any gentlemen on here, I'm sorry if this sounds like I'm manipulating, but we're just trying to help you. I have friends who have grumpy husbands, and I'm like, put some joy in his underwear. It'll work. Not when he's wearing them, because that would be so awkward, and he would probably be really irritated. But if you happen to be by his laundry, a couple drops in the drawer. I have several friends who have done that, and their husbands are in a great mood. The oils work, whether you believe it or not. So, and think about it. That area is a very thin-skinned area. It's going to get right in their bloodstream. If you're weirded out by that, just put a drop in their shoes. Put it in their socks. Whatever you need to do, help a brother out. But you put it over your heart. It's going to give you that joy, that protection. Okay? You can also put it over your throat, right? It's that energy center, the throat chakra, whatever. But this is right here. This is where you can speak up. This is where you speak your truth. In fact, if you were a seasoned emotional oil user, may I submit to you that you would use freedom here, that you would use joy, um, valor, all here. Think about it. You have the freedom to speak. Your words would be filled with love and joy and peace. You'd have the courage to speak up. The clarity. So this here is where truth is. I've said this in so many classes, but if you ever got strep throat, tonsillitis, if you had your, uh, what is that, your thyroid, any thyroid issues, you had it removed, I guarantee you were not allowed to speak as a child. Guarantee it. And if you say, no, no, I have a loving feeling, I could say whatever I want, then you are one and nobody else. Because never have I ever known anybody who had their thyroid removed, thyroid issues, endocrine issues, strep throat, tonsil, whatever, tonsils taken out as a kid, that they were ever able to speak their truth. So we're going to fix that. And you guys can do that now. Put it on there. Side note, myrrh. Um, my kids call it the truth serum, which is funny because I don't even know where I heard that. Uh, maybe it was Maribel, maybe it was you, you can chime in. Maybe it was Lori that told us, but you put it on and it, it causes you to say things. 
I was getting real sassy one day. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, too much myrrh. Hold on. A little overactive thyroid there, overactive throat chakra. I need to rein it in. But just, you know, just letting you know. Angel, that's fair that you don't like the smell of joy, but if it'll help your husband, you'll handle it. It's funny. I love that. Yes, Lori said that. And it's true. It's true. Myrrh. That's the true serum right there. Okay, so that's joy. Um, transformation. Let's talk about transformation. The protocol says over each wrist. Again, which I've already touched on that with inner harmony. I'm like, I guess if you want your wrist transformed, I mean, that's cool, whatever you need to do. But listen, scripture says, right? Say it with me. Don't be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by what? The renewing of your mind. It's this that needs to be transformed, not these. Not your feet, which I know those are pressure points, but you feel me, right? You understand. So we're going to use transformation on the nape of our neck, on the brainstem, right? Because it's going to send, the, it's where all the messages get sent. But also, over here, for your little pineal gland, because we're going to be able to have some intuition happen. So we're going to use our transformation there. Also, look, I'm going to mess with some people here now. But think about it. If your brain is so used to not sleeping, or, oh, I just thought of this, so someone needs to hear it. Or if you sleep a lot because you're depressed, because you just can't cope, maybe you nap right? Maybe you need transformation to help flip it. So this was responsible for being awake or being asleep. Maybe we use transformation to help flip the switch. Just a thought. One of you guys needed to hear that. I'm not sure who. Also, the last area you want to put it is over your heart. This is where love and compassion and kindness flow from. So hear me. In trauma, we can create a wall, a barrier, right? We put up our emotional walls and we usually guard our heart. We guard it fiercely because we don't want ever anybody to hurt us again or any situation or any whatever. So consequently, if you're guarded, then you are not going to be able, not only are you not going to be able to accept and receive love, but you're certainly not going to be able to give it. So true story in my family, my family will tell you, my children and my husband, that I'm the last, that I'm the least compassionate person in our group of seven. It's, it's something I'm working on. I've been using my transformation. And can I just tell you, it has flipped a switch. I think I've had so much trauma in my life like if I watch posts about sad things, I'm like, I don't need that crap in my life. Like that's a super mean thing to say. A compassionate person would say, oh, I'll just pray for them. Yeah, that, that was because I, I couldn't. Yes, Allie, disassociation. Absolutely. You just block it off. So there's a, there's a way you guard your heart. You know, you put joy over it and then you put white angelica to protect yourself right? A little barrier, but we don't shut it off. So we use transformation over our heart so that we can receive compassion and love and kindness. And we can also give it, we can also give it back. So there's a couple of places there that you guys can use that. I hope that helps somebody. All right. Divine release. The other diamonds in young living said this, so I'm going to say it. I can't get mine out of the box must mean I don't need it. Um, and you know what's so funny? The bottles, they changed color. It's funny, a little bit. Um, anxiety, stress, fear, emotional trauma were divine release. This is going to help you connect with your creator. There is, well, in my opinion, in my experience, you cannot get free without the freedom giver. That's just that. That's not me being preachy. Right, dear, can I just bathe in it? Yes, brother, absolutely. I'm just telling you, the God who created you before he knew you, before he knit you together, excuse me, he knew you. 
So I would just say, why not have him help you get free? He's the one who brings freedom. And Gary knew that. Can I tell you guys, has anybody else been to the Ecuador farms by any chance on here? Go, go. seriously, if you use, you know, Young Living as your income, then I suggest you rank up to platinum just so that you can go to the Ecuador farm. I mean, I guess you can go and pay for it, but it's so much better when they do it for you. It's just free, right? Um, you don't want to go to a third world country really on your own. That's a little hard, but hear me when you go, you see the Palo Santo forest where Gary Young would go. And before he did anything on that farm, he would go to that. It's not a forest. I'm making it sound like, you know, you guys are picturing some forest. It's not, it's just this super ugly pile of dead wood because Palo Santo has to die before it can be distilled which is weird, but it's true. So it's just this gnarled looking nest of trees. And there was this little out car, or outcropping that he would go and he would overlook the whole farm and he would pray. He'd pray for wisdom. He'd pray over us. He'd pray over the oils and ask for divine wisdom. He knew. And guys, this divine release right here, this is going to give you that connection that you need so that you can get free on your own. You cannot get free. You just can't, you can get kind of free, but true freedom. Like I'm talking about, listen, that's not going to happen without your creator. I promise you, this is going to help alleviate those feelings of fear and stress and all of that. And it's going to help you bust through that emotional trauma. It just is. If you look up how many oils, it's like this. It's a list of oils. It's a huge list. And so we put this on our crown. We can put it on our temples. We put it here in our forehead. All the soft spots. This is a great one if you have somebody in your house that can drip it down your spine. Think about that. On your crown, down the center. It's powerful. I love that, Maribel. You put transformation on for the first time and your toes are so tingly. Oils can do that. Oils can create such a vibration in your cells that you're like, whoa, I feel like I just stepped on one of those massager things. Amazing. All right, TR care. I love this oil so very much. TR care is, I was always told when it first came out, it stands for trauma recovery care. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm, that, it just says TR care. I'm like, well, you know, it's just like tea away in the animal sense, it's trauma away. We're trying to be all PC now, so we don't say that, but this one, I, uh, maybe I use this analogy in the video, so forgive me if you heard it. And if you've sat in any of my emotion classes, you're like, Jen, we hear this analogy all the time. It's okay, because it doesn't get old for me to tell it. So there it is. So if you're a runner and you run a marathon, and at the end, you have to go to a medical tent, right? Because my God, you just ran a marathon. It's 26 miles. No matter how seasoned of a runner you are, it is traumatic on the body. You're asking the body to do something that is quite difficult. The first man who ran a marathon, people, he died. So here's me. I don't know whatever possessed people to keep doing this because the first guy that ever did it died when he was done. Like who does that? It's kind of like the first guy that ever jumped out of an airplane died. Yeah. Why do we keep doing that then? I don't know. But my point is, as you go through this trauma and the authorities, the medical authorities are like, Hey, you should get checked out. And so, depending on how much trauma in the body, they put a little mylar blanket on you. They might give you some IVs to hydrate you. They give you some food. Maybe you have to lay down. When you have been through trauma, emotional trauma, even physical trauma, so some of your trauma, you guys on here, could be from physical stuff. Maybe you've been in an accident. Maybe you had something really physical, but something terrible happened to you whatever it is, your body needs the medical tent. You need to recover. 
So I don't know if they really do mean trauma recovery care, but I'm just going to call it that because that's what it is. It's the very last step. And I would encourage you to follow that is keep this your last step, but keep it with you for those 30 days. If you've heard me talk about triggers, this may become your anti-trigger oil, guys. Meaning you're heading these triggers off of the past. We can talk about that another time. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But this, so the priests with the Israelites would put oils, hyssop and cedar wood, right on their ear, their right ear, their right thumb, and their right big toe. They knew before they went in to the Holy of Holies, before they went into the temple, they had to be right. They had to be clear emotionally. TR care is meant to be put around the edges of the ear. Guys, if you just were to massage your ears, you would release emotions just by doing that. Adding oils is going to make it go a whole heck of a lot quicker and stay. So taking some TR care, right? Activating it, putting it in your hands, and then rubbing it around your ear. I would do this, again, this is the world according to Jen. I would do this three times. In raindrop, everything is three times. And my brilliant mom told me recently, because she just went through the care training, right, for raindrop, and she said they do it three times because it's mind, body, and spirit. That's powerful, guys. That'll preach right there. There's a, a system to everything. So if you are wanting to recover, know that there are three parts of your sweet soul that have got to get healed, your mind, your body, and your soul. And so as you do that three times, think about that power. When you use your oils, just blindly not knowing, that's what I did when I first used these oils. They work. They totally work. But when you put intention and purpose to it, now you're a world changer. Now you're not only getting free yourself and rocking your world, but you're passionate and be like, I got to tell people about this. And you're out doing the things and helping them. Plus, it's going to happen a whole lot faster, you guys. Okay, so I talked about those two collections briefly. Ooh, I have two. Well, no, I was late starting, so I got a couple minutes. I don't want to take longer than an hour. Some of you maybe did not get this collection, or you have friends that missed the boat on this. My hope and prayer, believe me, I'm praying again, is that this collection will come back. You know, it was like a Roman chamomile has has made its appearance and it's gone away. And we're like, it's like a tease. I'm like, stop teasing me. Just give me my oils. Anyhow, so I'm, I'm hopeful that this will come back. But I wanted to share with you the oils that you can use that are going to help this. And there's a whole nother set of things, except for I hope that through this time, you guys have heard me. I didn't say this, I don't think I did, but when we talk about placing the oils specifically in relation to emotion, I think I might have just skipped over that. But let me go back to it in case I did. If you've had trauma and you know the location of the trauma, let's say you're in an accident and you hit your head, um, traumatic brain injury folks, you would focus a lot of your application of the oils on your head, where your brain is, right? Because that's the point of trauma. Um, women who were sexually assaulted, you would put it in places that maybe you were touched or grabbed or whatever, and on your pineal gland, right, to help remove that. Am I making sense with that, guys? I think I said that with babies, like if you've lost a child, so that kind of thing. So wherever the trauma occurred, you would place it there. Okay. I want to make sure I touched on that. Um, yes, Allie. Okay, good. So obviously the feelings collection, but that's not the first place I'd start. And all my essentially free people are like, oh, here she goes. She's going to talk about trauma life in Cedarwood. You betcha. You betcha. Because guys, when this collection went out of stock and then right after trauma life went out, I was like, ah. and I bought all the feelings kit. I'm like, it's okay. Like it does its job for sure, but not like trauma life. When trauma life came in, I'm like, two please. Like every month, 
thank God we have three accounts in our house on my son and my husband and myself. I'm like everybody gets a trauma life. I think now you can just get it though. Everybody gets white Angelica. Everybody gets Valor, right? Trauma life is an oil to have in your arsenal. It just is. I believe you can use this with your ER points too. Believe me when I say trauma life is what you need. In fact, if I'm you and you have this freedom collection, great, then get trauma life too. Put it over your liver. Put it over your forehead. Rub it on your feet at night as you sleep. I love trauma life so much. Look, I don't even have any trauma, but I'm like, oh, see, it brings me back to just happy and hopeful days. And then cedar wood. So where's my collection? I had like, seriously, this is, I need tables and chairs to put all my stuff on. So this whole collection, if you guys, here's my next prayer. Please, Young Living, make a starter kit with just the ancient oils because people need to start with this, in my opinion, more than they need to start with um, the premium starter kit. In fact, I've actually signed people up. I'm like, just get the basic account, like your Costco membership, and then just get this. You'll be, you'll, you're welcome, by the way. You'll have way more freedom. You'll find so many, just so much more. But in here, number one, you have several oils in here that you cannot get. You can't get Myrtle. You can't get um, Onica. What's the other one? Cassia. You can't get Cassia. Thank you, Allie. Yes to trauma life with ER points. But in here, you also have cedar wood. And this is another oil that you guys should probably have about, you know, five bottles, one in every room. It's the brain changing oil. It's high in sesquiterpenes. You smell it. You say your affirmations. You go rock your world. You go change the things. No, Mindy, there is not, but I'm actually doing a Bible study on this starting on Wednesday, so that should be good. Not that my thing is good. Oh, you know what? One of, the, uh, one of those diamonds, like, didn't she have a book on something about these? I don't know. What, what's her name? She just did a whole thing on it. Um, one of you guys, you know who she is. I'm, like, losing my mind. But, no, cancel that. I'm losing my thought about her, not my mind. Yes, please, Lord, bring back Spike Nard. Um, everybody pray. No joke. No joke. Gary Young said, if we do not find a way to protect our Spike Nard, we will never have it again. Spike Nard has been gone for a long time. I'm not joking. It's, Spike Nard is amazing. It's called Indian Valerian for a reason. It's very soothing. They gave it to Jesus before he went on a cross. They could have given him any oil, but they chose Spike Nard. If you're going to go die on a cross, right, that's so brutal. And they gave you spike nar. They anointed the, the woman broke the jar and then it poured it all over him. It's a powerful oil, people. Um, so cedar wood. Using cedar wood to change any mindset that you have. If you don't have this collection or you're like, I don't want to drop 70 bucks on tra our transformation. Fine. Get your cedar wood. Breathe it in. Say the things and then let God do the things. Thank you, Pam. Aaron Rogers. Yes. I, her. I could see her face. Cedarwood, Trauma Life. Then you have your feelings collection, which has valor in it. You've got harmony, release, present time, forgiveness, inner child. I thought I was, I'm not missing one. There's those. The other two oils you want to have in your arsenal would be Roman chamomile and valerian. Now that those are back, keep those on hand. Roman chamomile and anger, they don't mix, which is great. So if you're like me and you live with five children that you homeschool all day, you just keep Roman chamomile in your pocket. That'll make everybody happy. It just smells like love, doesn't it? And then Valerian, <laughs> my kids are like, mom, don't put the cat pee oil on. I'm like, this will help you sleep, sweetie. But this, you know, on the toes, if you don't have the collection. I'm trying to think. I want to make sure that's everything. So the feelings collection, the ancient oils of scripture, trauma life, Roma chamomile, and valerian. If you don't have this collection, those are the oils that you want to start stocking in your emotional protocol. It's powerful, guys. I promise you. And if you don't have the ancient oils of scripture, listen, how about this? 
Just spend $20 and get the healing oils of the Bible. It's the same thing. Just talking about, but it's like we can't call these the healing oils anymore because folks get mad. So, but there's a whole book written by Dr. David Stewart. Just get that book and read it. And then you decide. You decide if you need these oils. It's up to you. But I promise you, I promise you, so many amazing things from those oils. Okay, before I let you guys go, now that I'm just like, well, yeah, here's all the stuff. Do you have any questions for me? No, that's Kimberly. Yes, it's $11. Get lots of it. Yes, Allie, it's in our oily group, the ancient oil. I'll, I'll tag you in it. Yes, that's the book. Allie was just holding it up. Healing Oils of the Bible. It's fascinating. If you've never read it and you have Young Living as your source of income or part of it, then you should probably get it. No questions, but a lot of things became clear. I'm so glad, Laura. I'm so, so glad. Yes. Okay, Terry, I will send you a link. It starts, um, it starts this Wednesday. It was just an idea that I had that I opened up to just my group. Um, I don't know. I'm like, I'm going to lead a Bible study. And I just, you know how God's like, do this, do this, do this. And I'm like, no, that's weird. I'm not a pastor. How do I? And no one knows me. Anyway, I open the scriptures every day. Why not just do a big group? So we're doing that. And uh, it starts Wednesday, six weeks. It leads right up to before Palm Sunday. So it's a big commitment, right? Um, six weeks. So I can send you guys the link to that. It's, I'll have it recorded in case you can't come. Um, I'm so glad, Kimberly. Yes. I'm so glad. Thank you, Maribel. Yeah, so much to process, right? Yes, for sure. You were going <laughs> to... Kimberly, you're so cute. <laughs> Why did it, you were that type of person too that would, yeah, you would definitely like laminate it, make sure you had it. And yeah, no, just shred that stuff. Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. Young Living spent a lot of money making these. Don't shred them. At least make it a bookmark in your healing oils of the Bible, right? Yeah. Okay. Very cool. 